Hi, this is Mariah. Welcome to your Daily Mana, Day 153. Today we're going to be reading the last chapter of Numbers, Chapter 36, Marriage of Female Heirs. The heads of the fathers' houses of the clan of the people of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, from the clans of the people of Joseph, came near and spoke before Moses and before the chiefs. The heads of the fathers' houses of the people of Israel, they said, the Lord commanded my Lord to give the land for inheritance by law to the people of Israel. And my Lord was commanded by the Lord to give the inheritance of Zahelophed, our brother, to his daughters. But if they are married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the people of Israel, then their inheritance will be taken from the inheritance of our fathers and added to the inheritance of the tribe into which they marry. So it will be taken away from the lot of our inheritance. And when the jubilee of the people of Israel comes, then their inheritance will be added to the inheritance of the tribe into which they marry, and their inheritance will be taken from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. And Moses commanded the people of Israel according to the word of the Lord, saying, The tribe of the people of Joseph is right. This is what the Lord commands concerning the daughters of Zehelophed. Let them marry whom they think best only, they shall marry within the clan of the tribe of their father. The inheritance of the people of Israel shall not be transferred from one tribe to another, for every one of the people of Israel shall hold on to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. And every daughter who possesses an inheritance in any tribe of the people of Israel shall be wife to one of the clan of the tribe of her father, so that every one of the people of Israel may possess the inheritance of his fathers. So no inheritance shall be transferred from one tribe to another, for each of the tribes of the people of Israel shall hold on to its own inheritance. The daughters of Zahelophed did as the Lord commanded Moses. Thank goodness. <laughs> for Mala, Tirzah, Hogla, Milka, and Noah, the daughters of Zahelophed, were married to sons of their father's brothers. They were married into the clans of the people of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, and their inheritance remained in the tribe of their father's clan. These are the commandments and the rules that the Lord commanded through Moses to the people of Israel in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. And that was our reading of Numbers chapter 36. So tomorrow, we're going to be starting a brand new book called Deuteronomy. It has 34 chapters. And what basically what it is is the recap of Israel's journey through Moses' perspective. Uh, Moses is about to die. Um, the first generation of Israelites who left Egypt had died. They weren't willing to go into the promised land, so it's their descendants that are about to enter the promised land. So for their sake, Moses um, is going to make sure they know God's law and his um, expectations, because he's, Moses is going to die soon, preparing the people to follow the leadership of Joshua. So yeah, tomorrow's going to start a new book, and it's through Moses' perspective. So if anyone has any doubt on who wrote the first five books of the Bible, well, Deuteronomy is completely told in Moses' um, perspective. And in the other previous books, we, we read that the Lord commanded Moses to write down this, to write down that. So, yep, it's, it's pretty much there in the Word of God. So, anyways, for now, I just want to say thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Stay humble and true to the faith. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.